Hi, let's talk about the veins of the posterior mediastinum. As you may recall, much of the thoracic wall is drained via the azygous system. The azygous system is a series of unpaired veins, and we have the azygous vein draining into the superior vena cava. And that azygous vein is going to drain intercostal spaces 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 on the right side, as well as the subcostal vein, as well as the ascending lumbar vein. And then on the left side, we're going to have the accessory hemiazygous. vein, as well as the hemi azygous vein, draining the left intercostal spaces. But we can only see the right side here, and so let me trace this for you. Here's the arch of the azygous vein, and it's descending down here, going all the way down. Here it is, coming down, down, down. And here are those posterior intercostal veins on the right side draining into the azygous vein, as we can see. Um, the accessory hemiazygous and hemiazygous are going to route underneath the esophagus and aorta. So let's take a look at the left side so that we may see these, and just so we understand what's going on, there is a retractor here that's elevating both the aorta as well as the esophagus, and that is revealing to us that azygous vein here. And so there are going to be two major tributaries. Here is the accessory hemiazygous vein, or the aha vein. That accessory hemiazygous vein will be draining intercostal spaces 5 through 8. And then here is the hemiazygous vein, the ha vein. That's going to be draining intercostal spaces 9 through 11, as well as the subcostal vein on the left side, as well as the ascending lumbar vein on the left side. These veins are quite variable and so if your donor doesn't precisely look like this, please don't worry. Um, I've seen all sorts of permutations and I, I think that it's just as likely that you'll see this pattern as not see this pattern. So one other treat for us as we look here, this is typically nestled between the azygous vein and the esophagus, but I'll outline one margin of it here. This is the thoracic duct. This is the major lymphatic channel of the body, and it's beginning at the cisterna chile in the abdominal retroperitoneal space, and it's ascending uh, superiorly um, in the uh, posterior mediastinum. It's more right lateral, nestled between the esophagus and the azygous, and then about at the level of the thoracic plane, it's going to abruptly change sides. It's going to switch from right lateral to left lateral, where it will ascend through the superior mediastinum, posterior to the subclavian artery, and it will wrap around and insert itself ultimately in the vicinity of the left venous angle. And it will return lymph from the entire body with the exception of the right thorax, the right upper limb, and the right half of the head and neck to that left venous angle. So we've talked about the azygous system and the thoracic duct. Thank you very much for your time.